Emil Durkheim's The Division of Labor in Society is a seminal work in sociology that examines the nature of social order. Durkheim argues that social order is maintained through the division of labor, which is the specialization of tasks among individuals in a society. Durkheim identifies two types of division of labor, mechanical and organic. Mechanical solidarity is found in simpler societies, where individuals share a common identity and culture. In these societies, the division of labor is based on simple tasks that are performed by everyone. Organic solidarity is found in more complex societies, where individuals have different skills and occupations. In these societies, the division of labor is more complex and specialized. Durkheim argues that the division of labor is essential for social order in complex societies. He argues that it creates interdependence among individuals, which binds them together and prevents conflict and also creates a sense of mutual dependence, which leads to a feeling of solidarity among individuals. The division of labor is evident in the way that we work. Most of us work in jobs that are specialized, and we rely on the work of others to provide us with the goods and services that we need. We interact with people from different backgrounds and with different skills, and we rely on each other for help and support. It can help us to develop our skills and talents, and it can give us a sense of purpose and belonging and can also help us to connect with others and to build strong social relationships. Durkheim's theory of the division of labor has been applied to a variety of real-world situations. For example, it has been used to explain the rise of the welfare state in industrial societies. The welfare state is a system of social programs that provides financial assistance and other benefits to individuals who are unable to support themselves. Durkheim argued that the welfare state is a product of the division of labor in complex societies. He argued that the division of labor creates a sense of mutual dependence among individuals, which leads to a demand for social welfare programs. However, the division of labor can also have a negative impact on our lives. It can lead to alienation, as we may feel disconnected from our work and from society as a whole. The division of labor can also lead to inequality, as some people may benefit more from IT than others. Durkheim's theory has also been used to explain the rise of crime in modern societies. Durkheim argued that crime is a product of social disorganization, which occurs when the division of labor breaks down. Social disorganization can lead to anomie, which is a state of normlessness. Anomie can lead to crime, as individuals may be more likely to engage in criminal behavior if they do not feel bound by social norms. Durkheim's theory of the division of labor is a valuable tool for understanding our own lives and the world around us. By understanding this idea, we can better understand the forces that shape our lives and the choices that we make. We can also use this understanding to improve our own lives and to make the world a better place. Dear friends, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed our podcast. Take care, and please don't forget to subscribe.